Hey everyone, welcome to Winnie Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be exploring more about neural filters on Photoshop. And if you are using the older version of Photoshop, then it may not be available on your system. So please check for the newer version. And an important notice, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you want to support me on my Patreon, check on the description list below. And this PST file is available for my Patreon supporter. You can download it for free. Uh, and with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, let's go to file and click on new. And I'll just go for 11 over 11, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB and let's click the, let's skip the rest as default and let's click on create. Now let's go to this image and let's select the layer, go to select and let's click on select subject and let's go over here let's go to the selection tab and let's uh, remove uh, those parts just like so and now let's click on create max and let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's convert it as a smart object and control T let's make it bigger maybe right around this size and let's go over here let, let's add a solid color for a background and let's go for a darker color something like that and right after that let's uh, do some color adjustment for this layer so select this layer go to the filter and let's go for a camera raw filter and from here let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows and let's increase the clarity increase the textures and let's drop down the vibrance just a little bit and from here increase the noise reduction and increase the color noise reduction too yep somewhere around here and let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's increase the red just a little bit and from the luminance just increase the luminance of orange just like so and let's click on ok and after that uh, let's uh, go for this image and let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's change the blending mode to multiply and let's right click let's click on create clipping max and let's go to the brush and let's er erase these hard edges right over here and I'm going for a general soft brush and let's erase those parts oh make sure the color is black and let's erase those parts yep just like that and let's make a one more copy Control j and again same thing right click uh create clipping max oh and from here maybe let's remove those parts right over here too and same thing for the bottom one let's erase those parts And now let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T, let's move it maybe right around here and let's increase the size. Yep, just like so and right click, let's create a clipping max and let's, e oh, let's erase these hard edges from here, just like so. And let's make a one more copy, Control J, right click, create a clipping max. And let's make a one more copy to Control J, Control T. And let's keep it right over here. And same thing, right click, create clipping max. And let's see, let's erase, oh sorry, let's erase the hard edges from here. And let's make a one more copy, Control J, right click, create clipping max, just like that. And let's create a one more layer and same thing, right click, create clipping max and let's go to the brush. And this time I will just go for the crack brush. And if you want to get this brush, it's available on my Patreon and you can check on the description list below too. So select this one and let's go for a black color or maybe kind of similar color like this and let's add some cracks cracks right over here and let's now 
Now let's uh, drag and drop another image that is this fire image over here and I have done this fire tutorial multiple times uh, so it's, it's just simple let's drag and drop and let's change the blending mode to screen and control T let's keep it maybe right over here and let's create a layer max and let's go to the brush and now let's go for a general brush and let's get rid of these hard edges right over here and maybe from some right over here too and control T let's do some wrap and let's make a copy control J and let's go to the brush let's get rid of these parts and again for this one too let's get rid of these parts too and now let's add a one more copy control J control T let's keep it maybe right around here and let's do a flip just to give some variations and let's maybe let's keep it right over here and let's do a wrap Yep, something like that and let's make a one more copy control J and let's make a one more copy to control J control T let's keep it one right over here and control T let's add a little rotation and again same thing control T let's do some wrap over here too so let's see let's start it from right over here and Keep it something like that all right now let's add a new layer and go to the brush and using the same general brush let's make the color kind of a warmer like that and let's change the blending mode to soft maybe soft light I think soft light good looks good to me so let's add it soft light and let's change the brush size a little smaller and let's add some color right over here too and maybe some right over here too now let's go over here let's create a new layer and let's add some right over here and let's change the color mode to soft light and maybe right over here too and now let's go over to the very top and let's create a one more layer and let's go for a little lighter color and let's change the color mode to soft light and let's drop down the opacity just a little bit maybe some over here too and for this layer there is some hard edges right over here so let's tweak this one maybe I think this layer go to the brush and let's erase some of these parts and same thing for this one Let's get those parts back. All right, now let's create a one more layer and let's change it to white. And let's add some strokes right over here and let's change it to soft light too. So just to increase that intensity. Okay, just like so and for this one let's make a one more copy and let's move it 
all the way to top maybe right over here and let's make a one more copy Control J Control T let's move it maybe right over here just to add some kind of texture so go over here and let's erase those parts yep just to give a kind of textures fill and let's make a one more copy Control J Control T let's move it maybe right over here and let's make it a little smaller yep and go to the brush and let's get with those parts out just just like so and now let's uh, drag and drop this texture over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom and now let's select the layer go to the image go to adjustment and let's go for hue and saturation and let's drop down the saturation and drop down the lightness too just like so and let's change the blending mode to soft light Control T let's keep it just like so and now let's add some color lookup so go over here add and color lookup and from here click on load and I'll just go for my moodlet so select this one and click on load and now let's add some text so go over here let's add a Control T, let's increase the size, let's keep it right over here and let's change the color to, to maybe something like that and let's keep it all the way to the bottom, maybe right over here and let's change the textures to, yep, maybe yep maybe something like that and now let's add some other text yep let's keep it like that and now let's merge all this layer Control shift alt and e now let's create a new layer and go to the edit and go to fill and let's fill it with 50 percent gray and let's change it to soft light and let's do some dodge and burn so go over here let's add a burn tool and maybe let's add some burn right over here right over here too and that and let's add some dodge and maybe some dodge right over here All right, now let's merge all this layer, Control shift alt and e and let's go to the filter and let's go for a neural filter and let's turn on that style transfer and let's go for let's go for this one let's see how it looks yeah i think i'll just go for this one select this one and let's go over here click on focus subject click on preserve color and from here let's go to the detail and let's drop down the details let's see how it looks yep something like that and let's click on ok now let's select the layer and let's create a layer max again and let's fill it with black color and let's go to the brush and let's go for a general soft brush and make sure the color is white and let's reveal uh, those parts where I want the effect so maybe right over here maybe right over here maybe some on the faces too yeah and maybe right over here and let's add a new color balance and from here let's increase the red 
just like that and let's go more toward the warmer yellowstone so yep something like that so that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and again if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe and also if you want to support me through my patreon please check on the description list below so see you guys in the next video and till then you guys have a great time bye bye